Hey, what's up? It's Tico here. Welcome to the Lick of the Week, episode 45, where I show where I get the best wallpapers, icons, docs, themes for your Mac, and of course, wallpapers and icons are also available for other operating systems. And I also have a quick update at the end of this video regarding the giveaway that I'm holding that is still going on, by the way, so if you want to enter, uh, you can still do that. And also, uh, one of my other channels, I do want to mention that real quick. So, that's at the end of the vi this video, but for now, I'm going to show you guys uh, the cool wallpapers I, I, I found and selected for this week's uh, look of the week. The first one being uh, Specularity by Alaxa. I think I mentioned uh, him a few times in the past. And I actually mentioned him a few times in this video as well because I've put quite a few of his wallpapers because I think they're actually really nice and creative and colorful. So, a really nice wallpaper. They all come for the 27 inch IMAX, so really high resolutions, which is always. Uh, very nice So that's number one uh, then we have the abyss also by uh, Laxa same person again uh, Also in my opinion quite a nice wallpaper although I do think like the outer parts It's like a really there's a really big amount of well. There's a big gap Black gap between the edge. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but you guys understand uh, It can actually be handy some people like to have icons at the side and then you know you can see them better and then in the middle you kind of have the wallpaper which still looks really good so uh, you know all depends what you uh, prefer uh, next up we got nanotech which is a nice cool uh, abstract wallpaper again by uh, Laxa here and uh, looks uh, looks very good in my opinion uh, I really like these kind of abstract wallpapers uh, with shapes and stuff like that uh, next up we have a little uh, ph photographic wallpaper for a change Called C Tree by Marts or Mart Z90, and uh, really nice little you know manipulated photo. It's actually originally a stock photo, but he you know he changed a few things, including the sky, which makes it looks uh, makes it look much nicer. Now it does not come for the 27 inch iMac. Does come for like uh, a lot of Android and the iPhone 4 4s, not the iPhone 5, unfortunately. Um. Next up, we got One Wish Wallpaper, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, and it's by Jaylin XX, I think that's how you pronounce it. But in my opinion, very nice photograph, really ni uh, just, you know, really nicely uh, composited and the colors and stuff, it's really uh, relaxing in a way. So really nice wallpaper, uh, definitely one of the, my favorite ones uh, this week. So. Next up, we got uh, Galaxy 6 uh, wallpaper again by Mart70. Uh, 90, sorry. <laughs> Mart Z90. Uh, and this one does come for the 27 inch iMac and a bunch of other things as uh, iPhone 4, Windows Phone, Android Phones, iPad 1 and 2. Not 3, though. Uh, but again, very nice wallpaper, although this time it's not a, it's not a photo, but I still thought it was uh, really, really uh, cool. This kind of like blue and red contrast going on and you know the whole outer space thing so uh, very nice uh, wallpaper by him uh, next up we got a little wallpaper which is not on DeviantArt I couldn't actually find the original author of this wallpaper so unfortunately I do not have anybody to you know give credit to for this wallpaper but I really liked it and I actually have it on my desktop myself so I think it's a quite a nice photograph and that's why I decided to still include it so I'll leave this link in the description where you can just download it although I do not know who made it um, last but not least, for the wallpapers at least, I have a little collection here that was posted on Wallpaper Art uh, a few weeks ago actually already. And it's a really cool little wallpaper connection f uh, collection for uh, the Retina display. So for all you guys that have the new MacBook Pro with Retina display, you can check out these wallpapers. They're actually quite nice uh, photos. And uh, they all come in the really high Retina display uh, resolution. So. Uh, not only photos, by the way, you also have some digital art here, uh, but very, very nice uh, wallpapers, in my opinion. That's why I decided to add them. And of course, they come in a really high resolution. So you just click on them and it will just download uh, the photo uh, and then you can just save it from there. Of course, my connection being a British connection uh, is going to take an hour to download. But uh, that's it for the wallpapers. Uh, let's go to the icons docs and themes now one thing I do want to mention real quick uh, for the docs at least 
um, is that uh, I'll probably won't be doing as much docs anymore simply because the mountain lion doesn't really support uh, that much uh, dock customization features but I'll try to find some but very little people still make them simply because it, it got pretty uh, tricky or, or more difficult to make them but that's it for the docs for the icons you know that is not a problem whatsoever so uh, the first icon I have here is called Chromecraft and I thought it was pretty cool actually kind of made me laugh uh, you know, kind of a Minecraft and Chrome uh, fusion into an icon. And I thought it looked pretty cool, and you can use it for uh, Google Chrome, of course. And it's by Spaz Chicken. So nice icon. Next up, I got a little gaming pack for you guys that have a lot of games on your Mac. Uh, this includes a few uh, games that are also available on Mac, such as Portal 1 to um, Minecraft, Assassin's Creed is actually available on Mac, some of you guys don't know that, but it has been officially uh, released and you can actually buy those games if you just Google, you know, Assassin's Creed 2, for example, on Mac, you can just uh, download that. So it is available uh, and you can buy it, even though it's it's uh, it's definitely more expensive than the original uh, Windows game, but you can, uh, you can still, you know, play it. But anyway, uh, enough for the games, just about the icons. I thought this was a quite a nice uh, collection and it's by death Rai s or i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it so my apologies for that but anyway um <clears throat> another game here real quick i did wanted to add which was not you know included in that uh, little icon pack is uh, the borderlands 2 so for all you guys that got borderlands 2 uh that recently just got released about i think a week ago uh this is really nice icons or, or different icons you can choose from uh and they are made by city 7 or sidey 7 not sure. Um, but lastly, for the icons, I do want to quickly mention uh, these icons. Now, they're not new at all. This has been released, uh, I think, at least two or three years ago. And I actually have already mentioned these on my look of the week, but it's been so long uh, that I've mentioned these, and, and it's probably one of the very early episodes that a lot of you guys haven't seen. Uh, I did want to quickly re-mention them because a lot of people have been commenting on my look of the weeks. They want a good icon pack that you can just use for, you know, that just includes a lot of things, applications, folders, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I've already mentioned these, but these were one of my favorite icons uh, ever created, so I did want to quickly re-mention them. And they're called High Tech Rave Up. It includes 217 icons, and it's from Shutuff or Stuff or not exactly sure how to pronounce it but it doesn't actually give you a lot of preview of all of the icons but i do have it here in my candy bar so uh, you guys can quickly have a look here uh, now it does have tons of different uh packs here so it has one for uh you know hard drives your folders your files um and the hard drives or cds you can change the icon of all that so it does include a lot of different cd types you know dvd dvd r dvd plus r minus r all that kind of stuff it's all included in there uh, that's really cool. You can use these for your stacks on your dock, uh, which is really nice if you want to have that. And then you also have an application pack where you got a bunch of different applications uh, already designed. Of course, not all applications are available, uh, but you do have a few app zapper here, uh, Bowtie, Bootcamp, uh, Automator, Candy Bar, Firefox here as well. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So you guys can uh, check out, uh, maybe you want to use this for Safari, for example, but a lot of different apps are already included, which I think, uh, which I think look really, really good. And uh, the icons are just uh, very nice and of really good quality. So uh, they come in a very high resolution. So really cool, um, stupid phone. They also have, uh, or he also made uh, Jeremy or Jeremy. I'm not sure if it's French or uh, what exactly uh, is the origin of the name, but I'll just say Jeremy Paul because that's the person who made it uh, also made the uh, cubes for the Adobe suit and uh, for the application so all that is uh, included um, in this so it's a very very large icon pack and uh, I think it was really nice and I do remember using them a lot and as you can see it has been submitted in July 26 2009 so uh, they're not new but anyway uh, that's for all the people who get, uh, for all the people who want it uh, an icon pack for your Mac. So if you don't know how to change your icons on your Mac, I've made a video about that in the past. Uh, but it's pretty simple. But if you want to quickly apply a huge icon pack, I recommend using a candy bar, and there's a free trial available. So 
I'll leave that in the description if you want to check it out. So that's it for the icons. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, next up, I do have uh, one dock, which is called Raven Dock, uh, which I'm not sure if it actually works on Mountain Lion. I haven't tried it out myself. I know it does work on Leopard, Snow Leopard, and uh, Lion. But I haven't tried it out on Mountain Lion, so you guys can check that out. But uh, it's a very nice, uh, dark looking uh, dock. And uh, yeah, I think it's, you know, I really like the, kind of the matte finish here on it. So it does uh, look quite nice. And he has included in the description here all the icons he has used in the preview image. So, um, yep, that's pretty much it for that uh, dock. It's created by ba Balderwayan. I have no idea how to pronounce that, sorry. Um, next up, I do have two little bow tie themes for you guys that do use uh, bow tie. First one being uh, Blood Diamond by CTF0. And by the same person, once again, there's another theme called uh, Gaia Compact, uh, again by CTF0. Uh, so that's it for the two bow tie themes I have for you guys. I think they look pretty good, especially this one. This one is my favorite. Uh, very nice, minimalistic look. And you kind of have these leaves here and stuff. I think that looked pretty cool. So that's it for the bow tie themes for you guys that use uh, bow tie a lot. And uh, last but not least, I got a tiny little modification or skin. It's not a huge thing, uh, but it does look really cool and I tested it out and actually it looks quite good. Uh, for all you guys that use uh, QuickTime, which obviously comes with your Mac, you can apply the skin uh, and it makes your uh, the top uh, bar here um, or the, the window, uh, the top of the window, you get little different stoplights here um, for minimizing closing and maximizing the window and you know the style is kind of different here and as well uh, the little icon to resize the window has changed so that is a pirated movie by the way which I would not recommend uh, adding in the preview but that doesn't matter I think it's still really cool it works on mountain line he has added the files or he or she I'm not sure has added the files uh, to install it on Mountain Lion, which is really nice, and that's also the reason I kind of included it. But um, again, that's by CTF uh, Zero. So that's it for all the stuff that I want to show you guys for this episode of Liquor Week. Uh, I do know it's kind of a long episode, sorry about that. Uh, for the giveaway, next uh, video will be the winners of the giveaway. You can still enter for I think about two days, and then I'll close it and uh, I'll be announcing the winners now if you do not know what giveaway I'm talking about right now my previous video I'm hold uh, I've told you guys that I'm holding a giveaway and I'm giving away 20 copies of uh, Mac X video converter pro So if you guys want to enter you can still enter just go back to that video and you know watch it and you know how to enter So it's pretty simple to enter the giveaway. So be sure to check that out So next video I'll be announcing the winner for that and lastly, I do want to quickly mention my gaming channel that I have had for like a very long time already. But uh, I started this little walkthrough uh, series of uh, a game or video game called Sleeping Dogs. And I'm currently on episode 10, but I upload one every day. And I've been doing that for, you know, the past 10 episodes. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could watch it, give me your feedback on it. If you don't want to watch it, if you're not interested in that kind of stuff, that's fine. Uh, but for you guys that are interested, I did want to quickly give it a shot at Simps. Uh, simply because uh, it doesn't get that many uh, views and maybe some of you guys are interested in it so I'll be linking a link uh, leaving a link to this channel in the description and to the playlist of my walkthrough as well so you can go ahead and check it out and I highly appreciate it if you could uh, you know just check it out uh, that's pretty much it for the look of the week episode 45 I'll thank you all for watching be sure to check out my two latest videos including the giveaway once again and follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook and circle me on Google Plus and uh, once again, I'll thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.